everyone, welcome back to my channel for my art, Nadine Michelle Art. I'm Nadine, thank you for being here. So today, you guys, I'm going to, um, so it's like, you haven't seen nearly all of the videos at all, but this is a number like, I don't know, number five or something with this color palette and this canvas. So yeah, I think this canvas is like cursed or something. I don't know, but I never anticipated to have this much trouble with these colors. I kind of was thinking of doing these colors for a long time because I thought it'd be pretty together. But yeah, I don't know what it is. I think what's going on is like, um, I generally use like a little bit, not thin, but thinner of a consistency for my flip cups. So I think what's going on is I'm using all metallics and then the base coat is a dark color. So what's happening is it's like, the base coat is like swallowing up the metallics to where they break apart and then all the cells and everything break apart. So I think um, with this particular palette, I have to go a lot thicker, like a lot thicker than what I'm used to. So I made that change. So now I'm using like close to like a mound on a mound kind of consistency. I'm also getting, I don't know if you can tell because like I already sanded this and stuff, but some of like the pearl white when it hits like the blue right here, it's getting like this flaking. Like it wasn't nearly this bad before I sanded it, but like you can see it. It's like starting to break apart a little and I don't like that. And some of my cells are getting all wonky, so... <laughs> Hopefully, this is the last and final time you'll see. Well, you haven't seen all the videos, but there's been like five attempts with this thing. So, yeah. So, the canvas that I'm working with today is a 24 by 30 Artist Loft Gallery Wrap Deep Edge Canvas. I have the back. Um, taped. I don't know if you can see it because it's darker colored now, but it's taped. I have these hooks on the bottom. These are the cup hooks. You use these to level your canvas. You also use them to raise your canvas off your table. I just got a panel on the side. That's okay. Um, and then they're also helpful when you tilt your canvas because you don't have to lift the whole thing up. You kind of just pivot it, which is helpful, especially with these bigger canvases. Okay. So then all my paints today were mixed to pour, parts pouring medium to one part paint. That's a rough estimate. I don't measure. I paint by feel, so I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and the pouring medium I use is roughly 75% Floetrol to 25% GAC 800. And then I thin that down with a mixture of, it's mostly water, and then a little bit of GAC 800. Just to thin it if I need to. Okay, so the colors we're doing same that I've been working with for a while now. So this is a Prussian blue that I made. This is the base coat color that we're going to use. I made this from the Liquitex Phthalo Blue and then I added black till I got to the shade. And then the next color we're using, this is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics and 24 karat gold. And the next one, this is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Sterling Silver. And then the last one, the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Ivory Pearl. Okay, 
Okay, and then I'll show you the consistency that we're working with today. Like I said, um, I went a little bit thicker on purpose to try to combat some of the issues I've been having. So yeah. So, laser mound. Let's see. I would say it's close to a mound on a mound. It's thicker than what I normally use for sure. So leaves a mound, not a huge one, and then it does more on top as well. Okay. Okay, so that's the consistency we're working with today. So in order to find out how much paint we need for our canvas, you multiply your length times your width, and then you divide by 28. So this came out to be about 26 ounces of paint. I am going to use two 16 ounce cups, and then I'm just not going to fill them up all the way. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna put on the blue base coat, and then we're gonna do two double layered cup um, flip cups and then what I'm thinking another issue I've been running into at least with my prior consistencies was like when I would wreck it it's just like not looking like it normally would how I like it so I'm thinking of just doing two regular um, layered cup flip cups and then not wrecking it, but maybe doing like little wrecks through it, just like tiny ones. That's what I'm thinking, because I really, really, really don't want to redo this again. I've done this canvas seriously like five times now. So, um, and I did prep it beforehand. I um, sanded it pretty good. And then I wiped it off and everything. And then I prepped the edges again, just to be on the safe side, because I don't want to have to fix it again. So yeah. Yeah, that's the game plan. Let's hope it works out this time. You know, the million times the charm. That's why um, fluid art is so hard, because even with just different colors, you can get a completely different result. You have to just like, keep practicing and keep like going like it's it can be very challenging and you have to have a lot of patience <laughs> well, there are cups first <laughs> okay so that's our impression blue that we made and then i think i'm gonna do Silver. I have noticed to go a little lighter and the silver it tends to take over as well. Just like the 24 karat gold does. And then this is our ivory pearl. And then we're gonna do gold, and then we're gonna repeat that. Okay, and then our base color. just supposed to sit on top. Okay, and then here's our cups. All right, we're gonna put our base coat color on.
the trains passing by our bedroom window It feels like the writing's on the wall You try your best to reassure me Okay, so now we're gonna flip our two cups over Okay So it's all about the wrist You wanna hold the cup in your wrist like so You don't wanna hold it with your whole hand Because then the paint will go everywhere Okay, and then you just want to do it really fast and then, like, not think about it. And honestly, I've never had, like, the paint go everywhere and I'm pretty messy. So, I'm going to do, let's see, like, maybe one, like, right here and then one over there or something. Okay, so one, two, and let's hope I can do this after I just told you. Can't too bad. Kind of squi squeezed it when I was flipping it, but it's okay. One, two, and three. And it doesn't go everywhere that way. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is you want to give these a minute since there's no like pin in our cups. We have to wait for all of the air to release. And then all the paint will drip down to the top of the cup. So I would give that like, I don't know, at least a few minutes, like two, three minutes. And um, yeah. And then we'll torch and yeah. Okay. And I think that's been long enough. Now we're going to um, release our paint from our cup. So what you want to do is you want to get just a little bit out because like, the cup will suction to the canvas, so you just want a little at a time, and then you'll bring the rest out. So what I'm going to do is lift the cup slowly. I'm going to come this way with my hand and try to bring the paint down this way, okay? So one, two, just a little bit. I'm just gonna do little ones because I'm worried I'm gonna ruin it. Okay. Then the next one, I'll go like, because I don't want to leave this part negative space because. I was running out of base coat, so the this edge isn't so hot. All right, so if I can change. okay, we're gonna do some little lips, just little ones. Okay, and we're gonna torch, get all of our air bubbles out. Okay, so far it's looking a lot better. It's like the cells are holding shape more. Like you can tell when your consistency is not right, when like your cells are starting to like stretch out and lose shape before you even tilt. So. I'm just gonna get a little more color up there. I don't like big, like, solid blacks of color a lot, so I'll go and just, like, I don't know, fix it a little. Alright, so, and now at this stage, what you wanna do is patience 
is very important at this stage. So you want to let it sit like again, like probably like three, maybe even five minutes because you're giving time for all of the chemical reactions to take place. The thing with fluid art is you have to be patient. And when you use like certain paints together, you get certain chemical reactions. So, well, you have to give those reactions time to develop and work. So um, the longer you let this sit, the bigger your cells will get. So we're gonna let this sit and we're gonna be patient. And then after that, we'll tilt it out. I don't wanna let it sit too long because I don't want the cells to get ginormous here. So let's see where our weight of our paint is. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I'm sorry if my previous video, the lighting was really bad. I was having some lighting issues, so I apologize. So we're going to tilt. Um, my recommendation with tilting is number one, you have to just practice it and then you'll like get to learn how to move it to where you like it, you know? Um, and then another thing is you want to move it like with the weight of the paint, not against it. Like the weight of the paint is where your paint moves the fastest and it's where how you control it and like move your design around. Um, it's gonna do what it wants to do at the end of the day. So it would be a lot easier and better for your end result if you just go with what the paint wants to do. Okay, so that's what I do. I want to go, let's go to the, closer to this side, but it, this stuff is cool. I don't know if I want to lose that. Let's see, we'll just bring this down a little. And another thing with tilting is I tend to tilt very slow. Like I see a lot of artists go a lot faster, but I can't do that because otherwise all my cells will like lose shape. So I have to do it slow. The train's passing by our bedroom window. It feels like the writing's on the wall. Now I know I have cells on the end here and I don't want to lose this, so we're going to go back to our center. I mean, you always want to go back to the center before you change directions because otherwise you'll mess up your composition and your cells will get wonky and I don't want that personally, so. So was it for nothing? But for now why we'll just wait out in the hall? You know, the edge that got messed up with the base coat is where, you know, there's not a lot of stuff going on, but it's just the way of it, always. I really like they get really wonky. I don't like them. Don't yell at me. definitely for sure as long as you know I don't have any mishaps in the drying process um I definitely like this the best so far so I think what was happening in my other ones is a I need to go thicker um b 
Um, I think sometimes I need to like tilt slower, even though I tilt really slow because even right here, um, I kind of messed with this part because some of the cells started to get a little wonky and I don't like that. It really bothers me. So I have to fix it. Um, I think I used a good amount of paint. I could have used more base color. It's kind of like running out here, but we made it work. Um, what else went wrong? I think also what was happening with my other ones is like when I wrecked it for whatever reason, it wasn't responding the way my other pieces have when I wrecked it. So I ended up just with a look I didn't like for some reason. So for this, I had to do little wrecks and I liked it a lot better. It's good. I really hope it dries okay. Um, I really like this part a lot. There's a lot of cells with lacing. It's really pretty. Um, but yeah, here it is, the uh, fifth, and let's definitely hope this is the final attempt, you guys. I don't know, though. I mean, you never know what'll happen. So, we'll have to see. Um, another thing, make sure you always check your edges. Make sure they're fully covered, especially on these deep edge canvases because a lot like I was running out of base coat and I made like three quarters of one of these so this is like 64 ounces and yeah I should have made more I should have known better but you know just make sure your edges are fully covered that is another reason why I paint my edges beforehand with any canvas I do and any technique I do, it's just like a step I don't skip anymore because for me it's worth it to just take a couple minutes versus, you know, you're gonna have to take like what, like an hour to fix them. So yeah, that's what I do. Let's see. Yeah, I really like this and I'd love to know what you think. Um, so. We've, we've got the cursed canvas to hopefully not be cursed anymore. Let's hope it dries okay though, we'll see. Um, but yeah, if you ever have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, I think I'm gonna name this something like Snow Cap Mountain or Snowy, I don't know, it reminds me of like a winter scape kind of thing, except for they got the gold going on too, but it definitely has a wintry vibe to me. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. And I just love to hear what you think about this in the comments. Um, and thank you everybody for watching. I'm gonna take you down for a close up and I will show you the wet result. Okay, so here it is, you guys. I really, actually, I think I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna take you down. Okay, this is the top corner. I'm gonna try to go slow here. really like how much cells that's the part i had to fix a little bit but it'll blend in once it's dry i really like how the blue like blends with the silver and this part over here i love these cells over here these are so pretty See, look at all these cells, and I never ever use silicone. <laughs> you don't need silicone to get cells, you guys. See, okay, so there she is. I really hope it dries okay. I hope we don't have any <laughs> incidents. 
Like I said, this canvas has been cursed as like attempt number five. <laughs> um, but yeah, here it is. It reminds me of some kind of like wintry, snowy kind of vibe. Um, yeah, but I love to hear what you guys think. Um, if you want to see anything I'm working on, feel free to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, I put little shortened videos of stuff I'm working on there. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time on Nadine Michelle Art. Bye.